What's going on, guys? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. So what's going on, fellas? We got a good one for you today. But before we get started here, I got something important I want to tell you. I was contacted by multiple guys telling me about some scammer on the channel. Now look, if you ever win anything on this channel, I'm going to tell you just like this in a video. I'm never going to comment down below, hey, you won a prize, hit me up. And the funny thing is, is that if that scammer knew how hard I've worked on this channel to get it where it is, or what I would do to him if I could get my hands on him. He probably wouldn't be dilly-dicking around over here in the comments. Because every single one of you guys that visits this channel means something to me. I'd be willing to bet my life on it. Every single one of you guys works hard for everything you have. So just be careful, please. Don't fall for no dummy moves. All right, we got that out of the way. Now, we've been goofing off with parts casters and fenders and chipsins and all kind of stuff here lately. And from what I've gathered from the comments, that the general consensus is... Name tags don't matter. Now, there might have been a few guys that got kind of butt hurt. So this video is basically for those guys. And I'm by no means a guitar expert. I don't know nothing about guitars. I want you guys to tell me what's going on with this one right here. This, my friends, is a genuine Made in America Telecaster. Some of you guys could probably tell me what year it is by that serial number. I don't know what year it is. I'd love to find out. It's an outer body, string through. It does have some beautiful, nice, rounded fret ends. They look like some nice medium jumbos. I wonder if they're stainless. And I wonder if they're level. Yeah, that's a nice Telecaster, isn't it? But there's an elephant in the room here. What's going on there? And why would that be on one of these precious American Telecasters? There you go, sticker guy. It's on any given day. This could happen at their factory, too. And get looked right over. You can see right in the pickup cavity right there. We're going to address that. We're going to clean this guy. We're going to open him up. We're going to take a look at everything in this guitar today. Now, I don't repair and fix guitars like most guys do. So if you're one of those guys that's got OCD for doing things a certain way, you might want to beat it now. Because what I'm fixing to do is probably going to make you want to claw your eyeballs out. But if you're open-minded, like me, and you want to see how old dummy will do it, stick around. But that's going to be enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. Now, the first thing we got to do, take these old nasty strings off. You look right here real good. Just look at how dirty and dusty it is. See that? Let's get these strings off real quick. Well, someone wrapped this one really good, didn't they? Look at that. He's trying to give himself a little extra, wasn't he? Yeah, he wrapped all of them good. Look at that. Now what's odd is he didn't do that to the high E string. And that's the one I would expect you to do that on if you don't do the double loop the way I do. Man, look at those strings on the thing. Look at the screws for the saddles for the bridge. They're just rusted out. Ah, the Adarios, what do you know? Seems to be a preferred string around my area. It's got dust in between the strings on the pickup. That's how long it's set. Now, I find it odd that this doesn't have a real fender neck plate. That's why I can't wait to take it off. Those do look like fender standard screws, though. All right, let's get this plate off of here. Finish disparities. <laughs> you can see where the plate was on there. It's crusted into the finish. Almost like the finish wasn't dry. Okay, let's get this neck out of here. What you got there? April 15th, 2008. I can't make all that out, but if you can, somebody signed it with a pencil. <laughs> if you can make out that, I guess it's 0081. Is that N, like it's saying N0, like number? 0081. You tell me in the comments. And look back at your old comments, see if he was right. Let's get this crusty old pit guard off. It's 
screws are out, let's pop them off. Looks like 72997 maybe. I don't know what that means. I know there's zero tape under that cover wrapped around that pickup, stuffed off in that metal cover. Now here's another weird one. It's got two of these in it. One looks new and there's one behind it that looks old. So can you tell me what that is? Maybe that's a sticker of they worked on it or something? I don't know. Let's take the control cavity off. And let's open this up. Now, being you both know, I don't know what I'm talking about. So if this is the real Fender stuff, tell me in the comments, because I have no clue. Some of you guys know how to look this stuff up. I'm going to learn. Give me a little time. Now we got another sticker down here in the control cavity too. Fender sticker crazy, ain't they? I'm just going to put a little clipper oil on these posts right here. You know what clippers are. They're things that you keep your mustache and what's left of your hair straight. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Just going to put a little dab on each one. It ain't going to hurt it to get all over the place. We're going to clean it all up. We'll let that oil sit on those saddles for a minute. But while we wait, let's take the screws out of the bridge and look underneath it. All right, let's flip it over. I guess that says B54. I don't know. Little Chinese ladies at Fender got horrible handwriting. But it is cloth wrapped. But look at this ground wire. It goes to the bridge pickup to the screws. That's crazy. Here's something else that's crazy. You see that piece of the finish that came off the top of the guitar from right there? In the middle of your screen. It's on the back of the bridge there. So that means they put all the hardware, pick up everything on here without first letting the finish dry. You see that? Look at the pick card. I have no clue what SB means. There it is. Now, it don't bother me, but I don't see any shielding paint in those cavities either. There's a super thin layer of it here in the control cavity, but none in the pickup cavities on an American telly. Everybody saw that little hole beside the bridge where you can see the actual route for the pocket here. So I got a little piece of wood. I'm going to try to fix it without having to do any major repair. It's just an eyesore, and we want to kind of disguise it so it's not so visible. But nobody's going to say, look, there's a hole beside the bridge on that guy's guitar. So let's do it. The first thing I need to do is I need to get an impression of this so I can cut the piece of wood to fit that exactly. So I'm just going to put this piece of paper on here. And I'm going to go like this with it. You see what it did? It gave me a perfect impression of that curve. And I'm going to let wifey cut it out because I ain't really good with a pair of scissors. You see that fits in that pocket perfectly, right? Cool. Now I know this wood's not exactly the same color as this, but he's not looking for me to do any kind of refinishing or anything. I'm gonna run it through my drum sander. So what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> just gonna put a little super glue there. Just a little bit, hold this in place for me. We'll cut this out the best we can with the bandsaw real quick.
clean it up a little on the oscillating spindle sander. Looks good enough to me, let's take it inside and see. And I only need a sliver of this, if you remember. It was just not even a sixteenth of an inch at the hole. Let me dip this around here, I bet you I can get some glue out of it. Yep, we don't need much. That's good old tight bond wood glue. Link in the description. In order for this to work, I'm gonna put this here. It's gonna give me a flat surface to clamp to. I'm gonna put my little thing in here. My little wedge I made. Now I'm just gonna clamp it as tight as I can get it. Yeah, that's going to be fine. But we need to let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. That's going to be that. Yep, you won't see that. But we're still going to stain it a little bit. Hang on. Now I got a piece of test wood here. That's a little honey amber. It's trans tent right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this Q-tip in this water up here, get it nice and wet, and then I'm going to stick it in this just slightly. I'm going to rub it around here for a second and see if we can get a match over here. I mean, that's it's pretty close, ain't it? Let's see what happens. Yeah, thinking that's pretty dang close, ain't it? I got the bridge up there with the screw holes and the string holes. Now look over here where the hole was. Nope, can't really see it anymore. Not gonna see that from standing a couple feet away. My friend said, don't get too crazy with the cleaning. He said, just wipe it off good. Try to get all the screws turning again. Now I'm just using good old water here. That's it. Yeah, it's not hard to see. They put the pit guard and everything else on before the finish dried. Let's go ahead and pull these all the way out. Now, we will be shining this chrome up, but first we need to get some of this crap out of here. Yuck. You know what I like to do? Woo, that thing's gleaming now, ain't it? It's hard to believe it's the same one, ain't it? But it is. There's that piece of finish on the back. Now I just want to clean the top of this. Like I said, he don't want me to get too crazy with it.
No washers on the pots. Y'all see that? Let's give it a dollop of daisy. You know what I'm saying? That thing's grody, ain't it? Let's see what happens. Yeah, he cleaned right on up, didn't he? I'm gonna use my little three inch bench grinder here. Try to clean these screws up some. I'm gonna put some more of this oil on there. Well, those look way better, don't they? All right, let's get this thing back together. Look at there, I got some new screws for him. All right, let's see how level this neck is. Well, I've been having some good luck lately, huh? Look at that, it's perfect. All right, let's check the frets now. Yeah, somebody gave it a good fret job at least. So let's just polish them up. Last but not least, let's look at the neck heel. Looks like it says April 22nd, 2008. Got another sticker. It says night on it. AG. Somebody scribbled a P on it. Huh. Looks like everybody in the factory had a field day with that. Yep, I'm willing to bet one of my cards on it that this thing was put together before the paint dried. Boy, she cleaned up pretty, didn't she? Huh? Yeah, you ain't gonna see that hole now from the stage. You can break it out and start playing it again. Yeah, she cleaned up good. Let's put the strings on. <laughs> Sounds great, don't it? Sure does look a whole lot better now that you can't see that big hole up there under the bridge, huh? This thing shined up great, didn't it? Fender Telecaster, I ain't gonna lie to you. And don't get it twisted, I'm not putting them down at all. I'm just telling you that it can happen to any factory. Everybody makes mistakes, me included. I screw stuff up all the time. Yeah, I'm thinking she's a real beauty now. Man, she was a real beauty before, just needed a little cleanup. 
And remember, like I said, I love Fender guitars. Don't get it twisted. Now, there was a lot of stuff and a lot of questions unanswered in that guitar. If anything in there you saw you know anything about, please put it down there. And I had fun. I hope you did, too. And I really appreciate you watching. But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar.